What is going on friends? It is Ben with Bearded Spruce and today I am in the basement of our new mountain house and you might be watching this because you follow my content or more likely you're watching this because you had the same issue that we had. Since it is a mountain house, it is a well system. Uh, you can see a well pump, all that kind of fun stuff over there. And then behind me is the hot water heater. We moved in a few months ago and pretty much right away, like the second time we came up here, I uh, started showering. The entire house smelled like rotten eggs. Um, sulfur, just really gross. Uh, we're planning to enjoy this for a long time and maybe rent it out and it was just such a bummer. So I started doing some research and it turns out that the anode rod this guy right here is the culprit. So this is called an anode rod. You can see a bunch of gross stuff on it. Um, I took this out a few weeks ago and replaced it with what I'm gonna show you guys today. So what happens is, so this anode rod goes in this hole and instead of the inside of your hot water heater corroding, it is basically the sacrifice tool, right? And I had no clue that all hot water heaters had these anode rods until, you know, you need to replace it. So after doing a bunch of research, um, some say that you can replace them with the aluminum version and that might fix it. Seems like that's really only a temporary fix. Other people say they just replace it with the same kind. And at least for a while you can, you know, deal with a little bit of smell until it starts really corroding. Um, the other issue that you come to find out later in the life cycle of a hot water heater is all the sediment and the gross stuff that sinks to the bottom of the hot water heater is partially because of that anode rod and because of what make the materials, minerals that's in your water. So one option is like a three to five thousand dollar whole house water filtration um i didn't really want to do that i did want some good smelling water but um didn't want to spend that kind of cash so what i found let me grab the box for you is this guy um and i read a ton of reddits and watch some YouTube channels and that kind of stuff, much like this video. And it seemed to work for them. And I was, you know, it was worth giving a try because it was like 160 bucks at the time. Um, I have the link in the description below if you wanna check it out, just on Amazon, super quick delivery, easy to install for the most part. I'll go through that in a second. But really what it does is, it is this guy that replaces that huge uh, anode rod and it has a little electrode on top and you just hook it up to this outlet that plugs in just to any standard outlet and then you connect this side to a screw on the hot water heater itself and then this piece just connects on the top once you have it installed and I was like okay this is not gonna work I'm gonna have to do you know get a uh, plumber out here to figure something out with a filtration system and honestly within like a few hours it was totally changing the smell uh, to almost nothing and now after a few weeks of coming up here there's absolutely no smell at all so totally fixed the problem and 160 bucks and some elbow grease. So um, I'm gonna show you how to put this back in. It's pretty simple and show you the tool that it took to get the old one out and kind of go through that process. So let's jump in. All right, so to take this one out, I was lucky because the hot water heater was only installed in this house for a few months. But some people say they need like a breaker bar, like an extension kit uh, to their ratchet set um, to get it loose. And it definitely took some willpower, but essentially you need 
a knife because there's a bunch of this foam kind of in this hole um, that you have to dig out. And then you need these, this massive <laughs> uh, socket. And once you get the insulation out, you just kind of mess around with finding the top of it. And like I said, it took some momentum and elbow grease to break it free because the corrosion is starting already. But once I got it loose, it was pretty easy to get it out with this guy. I'll link to this in the description below as well. Um, it is a one and one sixteenth or 27 millimeter socket with, I think it's a half inch head um, for your socket wrench. So definitely do that. I also use some channel locks um, just to kind of grab it uh, and help with convincing it to come out. Um, before you do any of this, obviously turn off the water. And I have this little nozzle down here that lets me decompress. So basically it, you turn this guy and some water comes out. And if you don't do that, water is going to go everywhere because it's going to be pressurized in this tank. Um, so definitely take care of that before you dive in. All right. So this is going to be pretty much the end of this video because it's pretty simple, but um, I put some Teflon tape around the threads and you kind of find the threads there, hand tighten like that. And then once it's hand tightened, I'm just going to take these channel locks and you don't want to over tighten, but you want it to be tight enough where the, um, the water's not going to leak out. All right, so now that I have it nice and snug in there, um, I am just going to plug this guy in because I already had this connected here. And then I have it plugged in over there in a wall socket. And so I'm just going to pop that guy on. And then you'll notice the green light is on on the plug. And so it's all connected. If the green light doesn't go on, it's because this isn't grounded to something that is metal. So that's pretty easy to solve or that's not connected correctly. So definitely make sure that's all connected. And like I said, within hours, I think the listing said 24 hours, the smell will be gone and it will help with sediment and all that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching this video. I really hope it helped just like this product helped us. Uh, there's a 20 year warranty. So I feel like it's going to last longer than this hot water heater um, and do a bunch of, you know, making our house so much more enjoyable because it doesn't smell like rotten eggs or sulfur and that sediment. I've had friends tell me that their sediment starts getting into their tubs and just all kinds of like gross stuff like their washing machine and stuff so hopefully this helped uh, feel free to check out my other videos if you're still watching feel free to subscribe to my channel i do mostly diy projects around the house and other fun projects uh, tool reviews all that kind of stuff so thanks for so much for watching and we'll see you next time